Hello guys, thank you for getting interested about AWSS. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install AWSS on Linux Ubuntu. Although I recommend installing it directly on a production server. To run AWSS on Ubuntu, you will need to install some other programs. Step 1, we need to download ZAMP local server. We call it localhost on PC. So, we open Firefox. Please excuse my PC, it's a virtual machine, that's why it, it's a little bit, little bit slow. So we open Firefox, we navigate to google.com. And we type download ZAMP. We can also follow the instructions from here, from GitHub. About this project. See? Installing AWS on Linux Ubuntu. Anyways, we download ZAMP. You can download any version that would suit your project. If you don't know which pro uh, version to pick, just pick the first one. So we click here. Save. So ZAMP got downloaded. We click here to go to its download location. And then we right click Open Terminal then we go like this ls we have this sudo but sudo su would be easier ch mode plus x zamp and tap enter then we open it execute next 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 and next. I'm gonna skip the setup process so you can pause the video then you can come back after you finish your setup. So here I don't want to launch ZAMP from the GUI I want to show you on the terminal so I'm gonna uncheck this and finish opt lamp lamp start we must have a project as a test sample for AWS to test for for this video's sake I'm gonna download a random project from github and set it up so we open google and we write online shopping system GitHub. This project. Then we download the project code. Save file. It is downloaded. So we unzip it. Extract here and then we move it to ZAMP's location but using the terminal so in the ls move online shopping system to opt lamp hd dots online shopping system master now it's gone there so we can see it from here Control L OPT LAMP HD DOS now we should set MySQL database by opening localhost slash php my admin
we create a new database shopping system we choose the Unicode the UTF default as general now we import we pick the file from here online shopping system this is the database the database file should be inside this online shopping control C then we browse control V open then we go down and go this is not an error of the project this is an error of the system it needs updating the my the zamp system it's working everything is fine so now we let's test this let's test the project localhost slash we go back we take the name of the project and use it here it didn't open because we only imported the database but we didn't connect it to the code so we check the error message it says mysql mysql i connect user unknown database online shop on on file db.php so we check the file db.php this is the file what uh, we write what we created the database we created and the important that imported the da data to it so it was shopping system <coughs> uh, this, uh, the server name is localhost or 127.0.0.1 the username of zamp is root the mysql zamp and the password is nothing empty you can control s and save then it works so we refresh now should work voila we have a working website now so step two let's download node.js Down downloading node.js is quite easy using the terminal apt get install node.js we need to reboot when this error happens we need to reboot the system because it's uh, updating in the background or something and we cannot use apt get so we will need to reboot the system I'm gonna get back after the reboot so we are back online after a reboot required because of an update so let's open terminal to continue step 2 which is downloading node.js sudo su to get rid of sudo every time at get install node.js yes now it's done so we install npm at get install npm So, uh, since AWSS works only on a specific version of Node.js, we uh, we will. That's why we installed actually in npm. We will need to install a, a modular called n. This n modular actually uh, down, downgrades Node.js version to a specific version we choose. So after the installation of npm, I will show you the procedure. So now it's in, it got installed. We can install n modular through npm. 
npm install and globally it got installed now we run n for node.js version 12 13 0 it's done we should we should proceed to the next step which is step 3 downloading AWSS but before downloading AWSS let's start ZAMP again because uh, we, re we rebooted the device with the virtual machine actually so opt lamp lamp start ignore the error messages it's not important so step 3 downloading AWSS Downloading AWS is, is quite easy. You just download it from the GitHub repo by going up and download. Save. <coughs> Extract here. We rename this to AWSS. So after that we move AWSS through terminal. We navigate to download move AWSS to opt lamp 50 dots AWSS. We can go there the same way. which is this now next we should configure AWSS configurations they are really simple configurations so we just follow them we open config.js we do like this so we don't get confused we only change this line default project path to scan it means we need the folder name of the project to scan since we put them in the same folder, the two projects, it's gonna be easy. So we access it like this, we get the name, and then we write it here. Control B. We already did Control C. Control S for saving. That's it. Second file to change is config php.lang. Now we need to change this. It's for the database we created to con to make to let AWSS connect to the database. So we wrote shopping system. Uh, let's check the database in the PHP my admin. Now this what it means is we we need the table name of the user, the password column of the table name the salt column of the table name and same thing goes for the admin table so this is the this is the table of the user as as you look here you notice that this is user info is the table or uh, the, the user table and this is the admin info table so let's go with user info first we write here user info we look at the password column it seems to be this one and it's not hashed which is a bad thing so we write like this. We look for uh, salt, but uh, it seems that, that there is no salt, so we leave it empty. Then we go to admin info. We write here admin info table. Then we look for password hash or password or something. This is, it seems to be hashed, which is a good thing. And its name, is, the, the column name is admin password. So, admin password. And it seems like there is no ha assault, so we leave it empty. Control S, that's it. If you want, if your project doesn't have MySQL or you don't want to scan for MySQL, you can just disable this toggle, this flag, by making it false, and then you save it. But I will use database right now, MySQL. 
one more thing we need to change this this is uh, pointing for Windows actually but we need to use the Linux version since we used exam PHP binary for Linux is located in this if you're using XAMPP, sen since we are using XAMPP it's easy, we just need to do this then control S done so let's run AWS says we're all done, configuration is done, let's close this close it, leave this open, we don't need this so now we access AWS S OPP LAMP HD Docs AWS S there, there are two ways to run it. The best way is node main.js. Now it's working. Let's make it bigger. It seems it detected 291 detections in 13 seconds it's very good we can also run it through the sh file this file but it will not work because it needs a ch mode execution permission so it's the same thing but if you don't know what's going on just like this So after it's done, it says there is a report generated here. So let's check the report. This is the report generated. We double click on it and it opens. You see every detail of every vulnerability. See? All like this. Now, for example, uh, this file, action.php, has an MySQL injection vulnerability on line 8 on function mysql i query so if you don't know how how why it's uh, vulnerable and what's going on you can go down here and learn what's going on to learn about how to fix your code and secure it secure it against injection click here so here you will see all explanation of possible injection mysql injection ldap injection etc etc and if you don't understand some things you don't understand you are confused you can watch videos or read more it will help you then you go back and keep reading then your journey of fixing your project's security has started hope you enjoyed it thank you thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye